Hey guys, it's me again, Barry with Barry's A Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. And today's demonstration is going to be on a unit of uh, radio, AM radio, out of a 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner cool car. Uh, this comes from uh, Nick's Old Cars in uh, that's a uh, Nick's Old Car Specialty in Redlands, California. Uh, so a customer has requested that the uh, this is a FM conversion. Customer has requested use of the original connector which means it's a one speaker system, a single dash speaker, and possibly a speaker in the rear with a with a dash mounted fader. But so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, turn her on, make sure everything works. Got her, got her set to FM at the moment. And since it's a single speaker system, there's no need to see the output level meters. You can hear it working. Okay, you're gonna test, uh, make sure all the presets can be set. I've got them all preset to stations in my area. to change Okay, and now we'll run all the way down the dial. See how many stations we can pick up. These forces in a dispute. It's not dark up here. Department to the neck. One day. The truth is, there's one. Right. Oh, for comfort. Or pan agrees. Incidents like those people together, click a countdown to you aside for the good of the team. But a loss, she got to. Okay, I'm counting about 33, 34 FM stations, so signal conditions are pretty good today. Let's go ahead and switch it over to AM, which we do by turning it off and then right back on within about half a second. Make sure we pick up the two weak stations down here. Little, little antenna trouble here. admitting their equipment started the fire. One, two, and then we get a third one around here. And there's our third AM station. Okay, so we'll go back to FM just for fun. Incidentally, I do need to fix my antenna wire. That's why you heard that scratchiness. Okay, let's test the aux input. Make sure that works. I'm just going to feed a quick tone into it. One side. And other side, of course, they'll both come through the same center speaker. Now, after you use the aux input, there is a 20-second delay before the radio comes back. If you don't like the delay, just turn it off, turn it right back on, and it'll start working immediately. And that's it. Uh, make sure our tone control works. Okay, you lost some trouble there towards the So that's it. Uh, everything's tested, and she's ready to go back. Uh, not much a test on an AM radio going into a single speaker, so I'm out of here. Um, I'm Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio Repair, and you've just seen what I can do to your Classic Car AM radio. Uh, and if it has an A-Track, that's even better. You know, I make a little bit more money. I get to do a little bit more of my fine handiwork. Um, my number, should you need service, is 928-533-9666. My website is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and listening. We'll see you guys next time.